Anadi Karma Pale Podi and welcome to our Vrindavan Kartik Parikrama 2017. Um, it's been a tradition for us for the last almost 10 years now to come to Vrindavan with a, a group of devotees from different parts of the world on the invitation actually of Shri Prabhupada and go to the holy places, have kirtan, discuss the leelas that uh, took place there um, to nurture our bhakti lata bij, seed of devotion. Uh, in the Shastras, it said that there are five things that are particularly helpful for making spiritual advancement. Uh, chanting Hare Krishna, hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, associating with devotees, worshipping the deity, and living in or visiting holy places. Uh, Jiva Goswami actually states in his Sandarbhas that by performing any one of these activities, even a neophyte devotee can experience ecstasy. Again, on Prabhupada's invitation, we have, we have come, it's a tradition, uh, especially during the month of Kartik, uh, because this is a special month of the year where, well, one makes great spiritual advancement, not only here in India, but anywhere in the world. But in Vrindavan, we understand that any devotional service that is done, one of the nine types of devotional service, the result of that service is magnified a thousand times. So all devotees are eager for spiritual advancement. So we assemble each year to do our parikama. Of course, not everyone can come. All the devotees around the world, they have their various responsibilities, school, work, family, society, etc. We'll be filming our program as we go out on, on to these various holy places and having kirtan, etc. We'll be filming that for all of you so you can, you can join us. 
is a saying that a picture is worth a thousand words, so I can imagine that a video is worth 10,000 words. So please join us as we do our Perkama in this auspicious month of Kartik. Again, it's, it's only by the mercy of Sridhar Prabhupada that we find ourselves here. I remember in the early 1970s in Mayapur, Sridhar Prabhupada said from the Vyasa San that he wanted all of his disciples to come every Gaur Purnima to, to Mayapur for that festival. We were stunned when we heard that. And actually that evening I heard that some of the senior men, some of the GBC, they actually asked Prabhupada, everyone should come? And every year? Because they were thinking it create a financial crisis back home in the various temples. But Prabhupada was adamant. He said, yes, if possible, try to come to India, try to come to Vrindavan, try to come to Mayapur because when we come here, we become so inspired. Uh, and we can go back and perform our services with more spiritual strength and inspiration. Another time I heard Sridhar Prabhupada say in his room in Vrindavan that Vrindavan is for uh, inspiration. We come here to use a common saying to get our batteries recharged. Asha Pasha Sata Sata Klesha Deya Pravriti Rumira Tahe Prabhupada wanted that we spread the Sankirtan movement all over the world. That's our main business preaching. This is a missionary movement. But Sridhar Prabhupada also wanted that we become pure devotees of the Lord. So what better place to come than Vrindavan? Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu states that of all the holy places in the world or in the universe in the material creation, Vrindavan is the most holy because this is the place that the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself, Shwayam Bhagavan, Krishna comes and performs his leela to attract us back to the spiritual world. And of all the residents of Vrindavan, those who have the purest, deepest love for Krishna is the gopis. We feel fortunate that we're here performing Shravanam, Kirtanam, etc. And we'll be very happy to share our experiences with you, our humble, meager realizations, so you can be inspired from afar from this great uh, dham of Sri Vrindavan. So please, Stick with us for the next four weeks. Hare Krishna, Jai Shri Shri Radhe Shyam. Pada Padma Dhuni Kode Deho Bhakti Vinode Ashoi Hamitava Oh